I'm in the Animal Defenders video unit. This is where film of animal suffering is compiled for educational programs, videos for members of parliament, and legal cases. All of the circus footage you're about to see was filmed in secret by the Animal Defenders field officers. This is the reality of animals and circuses, something we call the ugliest show on earth. <laughs> Any time that you use an animal in entertainment, it it has to suffer in some way. If you consider brutalizing and using every method of cruelty to get an elephant to perform like that, if that's entertainment to you, then I think there's something very wrong with that picture. Now, I've seen elephants in the wild. I've seen them in Sri Lanka, I've seen them in Africa. These animals roam huge distances every single day. They're very social animals as well. They need space. And they, I just can't get to grips with how miserable those elephants must be in a circus situation. They look so sad and so dejected and so sorry for themselves. The most shocking thing about this, and I've had the misfortune of looking at animals in captivity all over the world. I can remember seeing bear parks in Thailand, which were, well, absolutely sickening, and, and various other Eastern European zoos, which were shocking. Maybe the reason that this film hit home so hard was that this wasn't in a foreign country. It was in my own country. And worse than that, it was in my own county. It was in Hampshire, where I live. And this appalling cruelty was going on whilst I was drinking tea and listening to the radio. It was, it was in my own backyard. Yeah, it was just, um, just shopping, really. They're on the road. They're kept in tiny, stinking cages. And that's true of horses, it's true of monkeys, it's true of elephants. And the fact is they're driven mad. I mean, they're driven quite literally insane. <laughs> They're kept in ridiculously confined situations. I mean, I'm not a big fan of zoos, but, you know, if a zoo kept the, the animals in that sort of size of confinement, it would be closed down immediately. Just by the very nature of a travelling circus, with the best will in the world, you simply can't hope to house and look after these kind of animals. These are wild animals. You can't possibly hope to give them any quality of life at all with the best will in the world. And these people haven't even got the best will in the world. Uh, there's, just, there's just no way that, that uh, any circus can provide an adequate living environment for any animal with the way they travel around and, and the cages that they're in. Um, the way that they're chained and, and of course beaten to perform tricks. Um, I mean, it takes away any sort of dignity they might have and uh, it, it robs them of their, you know, right to a decent life and what they're all about. just the, the wild animals that are incarcerated and going mad. There were horses there, these wonderful performing horses. Well, I mean, they're tethered in their stables. A horse needs to gallop, needs to interact. And they're standing there in these tiny stalls. They can't turn round. I just think it's wrong. I think it's wrong that anything should be in a cage myself. I just think that's wrong and it's, and for, you know, and just all the noise and everything. And it's, you know, it can't be, can't be doing them any good. I think there are three main areas where circuses have been really clearly shown to be falling down when it comes to the welfare needs of their animals. First of all, there are the documented cases of, of cruelty, keepers attacking and abusing animals. Second, there are instances where animals are being kept in a way totally inappropriate for their needs. 
Animals have psychological needs, same as people. Some need to be solitary, some need to be kept in social groups with the company of others. So um, it's important to cater for those needs. And, and thirdly, there, there's the fact that for an animal to be cared for well in captivity, it must be kept occupied. It must be allowed to feel that it has a territory. It must be given things to think about. Um, how can an animal in a barren cage or a crate being bossed from one place to another have any of these things? The circuses break the spirit of these animals. I think they are beaten into a point where they really don't have much emotion left anymore. They, they really rob them of life. They are treated as pieces of furniture to be stored until the next time when they go out in the ring. Elephants need to walk. They need to walk in order to feel healthy. Elephants in the wild walk 25, 50 miles a day. I've got a shocking admission to make. About um, must be about three years ago now. Uh, a friend of ours rang up and see if uh, we want to take the kids over to a little circus. We thought, yeah, yeah, there'd be a little tent. There'd be some clowns there, spinning plates, and all that. And uh, well, sure enough, it was quite a little circus. But they uh, they had a bear there, which looked uh, worse for wear. And they had two elephants, and it really was. It was. I felt sick when I left. The conditions they're kept in when the circus is uh, off season, uh, you know, it, it's an absolute outrage. I mean, it really is mind boggling that people uh, can think it's an acceptable way to behave. And these circuses have all kinds of animals as hippos, hyenas, horses, dogs, zebras tigers, lions, every animal you can possibly think of. But they don't see them as animals. They don't see them as a living, breathing thing at all. They're just commodities just being stored for when they can next be used. To say that animals enjoy doing tricks it is pretty unsound. Animals like to play. You only have to think of otters sliding down their snowy slopes or badger cubs frolicking um, you know, in the springtime. But there's always a purpose to that play. They're learning how to do something. Nature does nothing for nothing if you can have a double negative. There's always a purpose to it. And I think balancing on balls, jumping through hoops, or whatever else they get up to, riding skateboards, is, is, is entirely unnecessary. And the animals aren't going to enjoy that. I think it's a, it's a privilege to have a relationship with any animal. They give so much. I don't understand people sort of abusing the privilege of having relationships with living things. Every trick that you see in the circus is a response to a human being cruel and barbaric and savage to an animal. And an animal, whether it's a tiger or a chimp or a horse, they're responding because they'll know they'll get a whip or a kick if they don't do the trick. They're made to perform the same trick twice a day for 20 odd years. The boredom of that. And that's not even thinking about the way they're trained. It's not training through kindness. It's training through submission. They go back to the same old story. Animals in circuses just don't go together. They just don't fit. Animals don't kind of throw balls to each other in, in that way. They don't kind of stand up on their back legs and, and do all these tricks naturally. It's completely unnatural. You know, I am completely against zoos and I'm completely against human beings. They're thinking that they have this kind of God complex that they can control animals, laugh at animals when they do what they want them to do. I don't mind smiling with animals, working with animals, playing with animals, but you know, we've got to do it on equal terms. Uh, Cora was in uh, the Circus Vargas here in the United States and um, we convinced the circus to let us take her. Do you know that since Cora came to us in 1978, none of us have ever seen her sit up or stand on her head. I wonder why. It isn't normal. It simply isn't normal. Uh, you know, they, they always go on about this great educational mission that they're on. And I mean, uh, you know, it's nonsense, isn't it? All they, all they teach 
is, is barbarism and cruelty. I mean, you know, I don't think we should be bringing kids up to think that it is natural to see elephants, tigers, lions, whatever, being carted around and being caged. If kids are going to learn anything about animals at all, uh, they've got to learn that these things are kind of free wild spirits, really. I mean, it's like saying, you know, we should, bring, we should put Mount Everest somewhere in this country, then kids can get really good experience of it. Kids are quite willing to accept that not everything happens in the British Isles. Just the idea that people feel uh, dominion over their fellow creatures is wrong because they are not superior. They're superior intellectually, obviously, but that betokens a responsibility on them to take care of those creatures, not to abuse them and to humiliate them and to use them just for your own silly pleasures. There's no, there's no excuse for the things that go on in a circus, the things that they have to do, the way they keep the animals, the way they move them, and what they make them do. And anyone who believes that silly line that they enjoy it, the animals are having fun, the animals are not having fun. I mean, it's common sense. You know, you could just tell in nature that monkeys don't wear tuxedos and smoke cigars. I think the argument that circuses have of their animals being educational to children doesn't even deserve the time to discuss it. It's absolute and utter nonsense. Seeing an animal do a trick is not teaching children anything about that animal, except that the animal can be ruled by man. And it, it's just incredibly sad that anyone can have that, that argument. I was shocked that there was no um, legal protection for animals in circuses. Now, every other type of animal in captivity has some sort of protection. Personally, I think it would be great if circuses were just banned. It seems crazy that the, the one form of animal entertainment that is the worst has no legal protection for the animals whatsoever. It just seems to be a complete loophole. I don't understand why it's happened. I don't think that they teach children or the adults that go with the children anything at all. Um, I think it has a detrimental effect on our education about the animal kingdom because it teaches us that these animals are commodities, that there's no difference between a living, breathing animal and a Teletubby or a, a ragtop doll. They're the same. They're there for our amusement. And if people out there think, oh, well, our kids like to go to, uh, to circuses, there are wonderful human circuses without animals. I mean, that's great. Let them go and see clowns and trapeze acts. And... I went to um, the Serengeti to film for Absolutely Animals. And once you've actually seen those animals where they're supposed to live, you know, out there, it's heartbreaking to see them in any other way. If everyone can support the Animal Defenders campaign, we'll get the elephants out of their chains, the lions and tigers out of those horrible little cages that are so disgusting that you can't even think about them, and the horses also out of those little boxes that they put them in, and stop this absolute torture that they're, they're put through. Well, I think you just educate worldwide. You have to have hope. Absolutely. You can make a difference. You really can. I think people in numbers can do brilliant things. They can move mountains. The barbarity and the savagery that's inflicted on circus animals in the name of entertainment, in, the, in our name, it's as, it's as cruel as anything that happens to the dancing bears of Turkey or India. It's as cruel as anything that, that goes on um, among the donkey population or the bull population of Spain. This is just as bad and it's happening in our country. And the point is, the difference between the circus acts of Britain and what's going on in Spain and Turkey is that we have the power to stop it. We have the power to say enough. And that's what we should do. Please support the Animal Defenders campaign to get animals out of circuses. Don't go to the circus, right? It's not cool, it's not sexy, and it's certainly not happy. I beg you to support the Animal Defenders campaign. Let's get animals out of circuses. Support Animal Defenders, you know it makes sense. This way, we can get animals out of circuses for good.
Please, please support the Animal Defenders campaign. Don't go to circuses. Let's get circuses where they belong in the history books. Could you please support the Animal Defenders campaign to stop the use of animals in circuses? So in short, don't go to animal circuses. It's not a good day out. Please support the Animal Defenders campaign to get animals out of circuses. We really need your help. I still believe that the British are a nation of animal lovers, and that's why the British need to support the Animal Defenders campaign. We have to get rid of this cruel, outdated entertainment, and we have to do it now.